Be an astronaut, an architect, an artist, and buying your own house at the age of 27 and having a stable career with a very happy family. Two kids, one partner. We had everything perfectly planned out when we were eight years old. But then you realize that life happens. Life doesn't really work like that. I recently read a saying that is so sad and it says something like, I want to apologize a younger version of myself for letting myself so down for not accomplishing the dreams that I used to have as a kid, for not achieving anything remarkable in life now that I'm an adult. And I want to apologize for the kid version of mine for giving up on all of my dreams because I couldn't do it. And after reading this and seeing so many people comments agreeing on this, I just want to say, please stop. Please stop bullying yourself. It is so unfair to treat yourself that way. You are not a failure to your younger self. Just because we grow up and we learn so many things about life that we so did not know of as a kid, it doesn't mean that we're a failure. We did not let our kid versions down. Actually, the kid version of ourselves didn't know all of the things that we had to learn the hard way growing as an adult. So I think it's safe to say that it is time we should all rewrite our definition of success. It is okay to let go of the dreams that we used to have when we were five years old because they no longer resonate with our personal values anymore. It is really okay to outgrow the past version of ourselves and just let them go. I know that it's not easy. It is a lot easier said than done because I myself struggled a lot with the younger version of mine because I had a lot of ambitions, a lot of big dreams I couldn't accomplish by the age of 27. And I felt so much like a failure and I felt like my life was totally doomed because I was running out of time. And it is so not true, it is so not fair to you and to anyone. Everything that we used to believe as a kid was not actually us. It is all the things that we were taught from adults, from social media, from the news, from TV, commercials. We adapted a lot of things when we were moving to our teenage years and we thought that just by achieving all these goals, we will be happy and we will be successful. But in reality, they're all just lies. Not only the lies that we tell ourselves, but also the lies that other people tell us. Other people also believe in those lies, so it's difficult to let them go. We have to let them go because we cannot keep living like this. We cannot keep chasing the goals and the dreams that are so far away in the future. And then we have no time to live in this present moment. There is no guarantee that once you reach that goal or once you have that dream job, once you buy that house, that everything is going to fall into place. No, it is not guaranteed. And let me tell you something. You can be happy. Actually, you can be happy starting now, today, from this very moment, listening to this. You are capable of being happy. No matter where you are in life, no matter how much money you make, no matter if you have a family or not, no matter if you're single or if you have a partner in your life, wherever you are, right at this moment, you can be happy. I'm not saying that you should drop all your dreams, all of your goals, and just being so content in life that you're not willing to make any effort to improve yourself anymore. But rather, maybe take a moment and reevaluate the goals that you have or the goals that you used to have but refusing to let go because they're so familiar to you. Life shouldn't feel like a marathon. You shouldn't be competing against others, especially on social media. You shouldn't be overworking yourself, 
exhausting yourself and sleeping only four hours a day just because you want to retire at a younger age. Happiness is not something that you should be postponed. You deserve to live a little. We all do. So I want to ask you something. If there's no social media, if there's no members in your family who's pressuring you to get that job or get that house, if there's nobody in your life that you want to compete against, what would be your actual definition of success? What if success was never measured by how much money you make? What if success is not the key to happiness, but rather, happiness is the key to success? What if success means that you need to listen to what your soul really craves? What if success is measured just by how well you sleep at night? By how much time you spend doing the things that you love? Being around the people that care about you? What if success is actually not an end goal, but rather just the little steps that we're taking today, just the little life that we're living each and every single day? What if you give yourself some credit for achieving all these little wins along the way? And to give yourself some time to have more breaks, to listen to your body. Imagine if we measure success by the amount of safety that people felt in our presence. Let's just all be kind to each other and stop treating each other like an enemy or an obstacle that we need to get rid of in order to success. Whatever your definition of success is, let it be your definition. It doesn't have to be the same as others. Your definition of success should hold the values that you care in life, the priorities that you want to take. Not to show off to others, but to fulfill what your soul and what your heart craves. I hope that wherever you are listening to this, that you will always find love and you will always choose love. Until next time, bye! Thank you so much for watching this video.